Hey there! My gosh! I didn't think I would do a review about TV shows, but South Park tonight really blew me away with its pandemic special. My god! I didn't think for a minute. As soon as I heard about this special episode, I meant like, oh my god! This one hour special blew me away. It really blew me away. And, wow. I mean, we got lots of things going on in, in that pandemic special. So we all knew Randy was going to be as... We all knew Ran, Randy was going to be obsessed with his weed business. We all knew that... Cartman was tr was trying to do the selfish thing thing but till the end and then that speech stand made finally the wake up call both of those guys need anyways let's move on to let's move on to to the review And let's kick things off, off with a bang. I mean, seriously. I mean, seriously. In the beginning of the episode, lots of businesses went down, but Randy's weed business, is Tegrity Farm, is really skyrocketing. And then he announces his pandemic special. As usual, his family doesn't give a crap. Especially his wife. Yikes. And, oh my god, the, the cops, the cops becoming teachers, that was not, that was crazy. Crazy. Especially since when dragging Cartman into class, and then he starts a fight with Kyle, they ended up shooting, the chief ends up shooting Token. My god. Racist much? My God! It sh tonight's episode of South Park showed everything that happened between between our, the virus and the race war. My God! Talk about crazy. But what's really crazy is that my original theory about Randy Marsh being the creator of COVID nineteen. But what we didn't know is what it was by a drunk, by a, by a high, or should I say high, accident, by the way. Yeah, that's right, I said high because he spoke, smokes weed with Mickey Mouse last season. Season, yeah, last season we all know he was in China for one episode and... With Mickey Mouse, and we finally found out more about it since China was originally the source of the virus. And all of it points, and all of it points to Randy being it being the virus's creator. And the evidence was a pandemic. Don't go up. Was a pandemic? Well, no, I don't know how to pronounce that that animal name. Name anyway. Anyways, that leads to Randy trying to stop them from experimenting on it, so he doesn't go to jail. But that also could have ended the pandemic in South Park. And then, of course, we get we finally see Garrison as well. He doesn't want the pandemic special to end either, because like Trump. No, 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 wait. Scratch that. Because he wants to remain president. And he was doing cruddy, cruddy till all this happened. My no offense to Trump, by the way. I will not insult the president during this time. In, during South Park. During the South Park review. 
Anyways, anyways, it also le led up to the debate, to the debate, and not that I'm gonna blame the president, president, but South Park might might have insul insulted him by throwing Garrison as the bad bad guy who wanted the pandemic special to go on. I mean, seriously, he burned the evidence and the doctor to the ground. Ground. Let's see you do that, Trump. Especially with the upcoming election. But at least... And then, of course, there's the Grim Reaper showing up everywhere. The Grim Reaper is there everywhere you go where you see people dying. I mean, seriously. We saw a lot of people's... A lot of people die in, in this episode. As usual, Kenny dies. Of course, we didn't get the YOU BASTARD moment. Sorry, but Kyle didn't have enough time to do that. And... But in the... But I'm just glad Randy finally got his wake-up call until... Until recently, his wife woke up with a mustache. The mustache thing was the sort... Randy... Randy doing his weed is ac actually made the virus even worse, even though it worked for a few seconds seconds with Jimbo, who was diagnosed with COVID. I mean, seriously. Everyone who, who had the, everyone who took Randy's weed ended up with his, ended up with a mustache. My God. And then, of course, the riot went out, went out when, when the students broke out to help Butters. And guess what? The mayor was forced to give the cops their job back, jobs back, and guess what? They were, they shoot kids on this episode. They shoot kids. My God. That is a bad example. Cool. And then, but I was amazed by Stan's speech in the end because because he wanted things to go back to normal. But guess what? This is our new normal now. Even if it ends, even if even if the pandemic finally ends. This is our new normal now. I'm sorry, Stan Marsh, but this is our new normal now. You gotta get used to it. But in the end, both Randy and Cartman learn their lessons. As Randy hands over the animal to the scientist. Yeah, Garrison ends up burning the scientist and the animal. Animal. Talk about bad, bad, bad. I'm surprised no one shot Garrison. Garrison. I mean, if he wasn't the president in this episode, the cops would shoot him right now and ki shoot him right now and he'd be dead. But you know what the, the crazy part was? Was Mickey Mouse's involvement in this episode. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I wouldn't be surprised if Disney didn't get permission, didn't gave the permission for South Park to do this one. I mean, seriously. Having Mickey Mouse as a... Having Mickey Mouse be high in this episode. And then, of course, sending over that heart trying to kill Randy. I mean, seriously. 
This was way worse than anything they've done with Mickey Mouse in the past. But anyways, just as Randy was about to finally learn his lesson and tell the truth, sh truth, his wife Sharon wakes up with a mustache, just like all the others, and she said she, di she didn't smoke the pandemic special, but guess what? It's a lie. She came up with the she came with a mustache on her face. Anyways, that's all I gotta say about, about the South Park special, pandemic special. I hope you all enjoyed this, uh, this pandemic special, because I sure did. And I hope South Park can return back to normal soon. I miss a lot of my shows, and South Park was one of them. Till then, see ya.